Winter is here. Let's drink some Talisker. Yeah! Hey, welcome back, Whiskey Questers, to another episode of Whiskey Quests. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Antonio, and in this channel, I get to try whiskeys from all over the world. I like to add a drop of water to each one of them just to see if it changes. You'll never know unless you try that. So if you're curious about whiskey, you want to learn more about whiskey, just in general, you love whiskey, consider hitting that subscribe button with the bell notification. Stick around for more videos. Let's move on with today's review of House Greyjoy's Game of Thrones Talisker Select Reserve. Thanks again, Matt, for hooking me up with this whiskey right here. This will be my very first Talisker ever. If you guys haven't checked out the whiskey dude, please go ahead and visit his channel. Awesome guy. Give him a sub. Give him a like on his videos. Help him reach his goals. I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. Go check him out. So again, this is a single malt scotch whiskey and it'll cost you around 45 to 50 dollars maybe somewhere in the 60 dollar range depending where you go but it is bottled at 45.8 percent abv that's right this coming from the isle of sky is also a peated scotch so we all know what to do with peated scotches right you guys ready to get dark and mysterious oh yeah we're doing this the right way this is how you do it. Remember that every time you drink pita scotches, you just gotta put on this hoodie. So we gotta turn back on the lights because we gotta take a look at this color here. This one is a little bit darker than the other ones that I've reviewed earlier. It's still on the goldish side, but maybe more like a bronze type of color. And like I said, I, I do believe they add coloring to these and but that doesn't really matter because we're here to drink whiskey, not stare at it. So on the nose, ah, oh, good old Pete. Now this is another, in my opinion, lightly peated. It's not, it's not like an art bag, even on the Freud, but it is there, but it's more noticeable than the uh, Buna Haben 12. I get a nice hint of marshmallows, mixed in with like pears, nice briny nose coming through. You can really smell that sea salt in here. Yeah, the more I smell it, the more brine comes out. That's awesome. I'm getting a little tiny hints of vanilla also, but that brine is really present in this scotch right here. All right, let's move on to the palate. Cheers, everybody. Oh, so good. All right, I get a nice, oily mouthfeel peppery really peppery on this one i love that you get that peat smoke flavor mixed in with some brine yeah awesome smokiness coming out that abv helps it a lot wow now here's the thing toby from whiskey share told me that he tried this and he thought it was really soft compared to other taliskers so if this is impressing me right now, I can only imagine what the other ones are gonna be like when I get to try them. I can't wait. That black pepper really comes through. It's nice and spicy all the way around. Going down, it's also nice and hot. I love it. Nice, dark chocolate. This is definitely a spicy dark chocolate good amount of char coming out also mixed in with that vanilla the maltiness really good mouthfeel the finish on this one i would say i'd say this one's pretty close to the long side i mean it, that that peat it's all just lingering there it's reminding me of just a bonfire at the beach pretty much it's it's <laughs> i can't explain it it's, that's that's what it's making me think of but it's pretty good stuff fantastic all right let's add a drop of water and see what happens to this one i'm very excited i'm hoping it brings out a little bit more flavor let's see what happens see you guys in a bit all right we're back let's take a look at the nose with a little bit of water added to it oh yeah all right so the peat is still present but it knocked it down a couple of notches there and i'm getting more 
like a red apple pear I get some toffee coming out this time more maltiness also developing some honey and bonfire smoke right there but again the the smell of the smoke isn't as intense as it is on an Arbeg or a Laphroaig I'd say this is if you've had the Johnny Walker double black this is just a little bit more peatier than that fantastic all right let's move on to the taste guys cheers Oh my gosh. That oiliness turned more into like a buttery mouthfeel there. The spiciness did go down, but a lot more chocolate came out. This time it's more like a milk chocolate and then starts turning slowly into a dark chocolate. I get some, some dark caramel notes coming out. The peaty flavor also went down, but it's still there. Yeah, just this time it's more like a like a turned out bonfire, like just the smoke at the end of the night. Wow, this definitely is opening up nicely. I'm going to enjoy the little bit that's left here. I'm going to let that sit in my glass for a good 15 minutes before I start drinking it. Some leather opening up. It's fantastic stuff, guys. Wow, my first talisker and it didn't disappoint. And again, that finish, I'd say this one's on the medium side with the water. It just lingers with that smoky flavor, caramel, chocolate in the very back, just hanging there. Nice, not even offensive, just, just there, just lingering, waiting for you to take that next sip. All right, so my final thoughts on the House Greyjoy Game of Thrones whiskey here, the Talisker Select Reserve. This, if you haven't figured it out by now, it's a fantastic scotch. I am very pleased to have tried this, finally, a Talisker at 45 to $50. I would definitely pick this one up. This is another Game of Thrones bottle that if I see, I wouldn't mind picking up for that that much maybe sixty dollars is a little too much for that I would rather pick up something else but they do have a whole bunch of other offerings so I am very very interested in picking up one of their other things just to try them and see how they compare to this right here I will definitely be looking out for Talisker for sure All right, everybody that's it for the review for today thank you for joining me on this delicious whiskey experience Again, help me reach a thousand subscribers simply by giving me a like, sharing it with your friends. Don't forget to drop me a comment below. That also helps. And if you haven't subscribed to me yet, please hit that subscribe button with the bell notification so you don't miss a single video. Here's to uh, House Greyjoy. Cheers, everybody, or Bon Appetit. You guys remember that scene? Put it in the comments below if you remember. That's pretty good. Actually pairs nicely with this talisker. Bye everybody. Wow. Definitely try it with the hot dog. Not bad.